Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to St. Conlet's first year Bake Off semi-final with your judges, Mr. Gatton, Miss Speller, and Miss McGinnis. Okay, guys, Bake Off semi-finals. Here we go. 1A, Baker 1, Lemon Strawberry Grape and Lime Cheesecakes. I gotta say, 100 points for the photography skills out of this world. Looks tasty, looks delicious, beautiful. Only criticism, cheesecakes. Is that a pie? Questionable. I'll leave it to you to consider. I'll move it on to the next judge, Miss Speller. Uh, agree. Definitely love the presentation. Uh, love the art history with the, you know, the chocolate strawberry, the limes, the lemons cut in half. Definitely looks absolutely delicious. Shine on top, really good. The, the jelly shine we have going on, absolutely brilliant. But I have to have the same question. Is a cheesecake a pie? Miss McGuinness. Yes, I agree with all comments made so far. Presentation, colour came out quite well as well, which is pretty difficult. I've tried to make cheesecake before and haven't got that colour. Um, so well done there. Again, is a cheesecake a pie though? That's my big question too. Okay, moving on to 1A Baker 2, triple chocolate mud pie. Now personally, this is what I want to see out of a pie. I want to see some messiness, I want to see flavor. I want to see love for the pie. 100 points for on the yum yum scale. 100 yum yums out of possible 100 yum yums. Miss Speller. Yeah, absolutely agree. Chris, crust looks really good. Looks like it's a good like chocolatey crust as well. It's not just like a standard crust. It's a chocolate crust. Have to agree. Excellent. Uh, lovely stuff on top. Lots of mixed chocolate. Looks like milk and dark chocolate on top. Gotta love that. Cream, not a fan of myself, have to say. That's just me. You know, everybody else likes cream. I'm the weird one here. Uh, so I'd have to get rid of that. But other, excellent. Love it. Looks really good. Miss McGuinness. Um, yeah, I agree with all those comments as well. It looks really good, like a really heavy pie so that you would be so full that you wouldn't want another portion because it's so good looking. Um, I have to disagree with Miss Speller there. I'm a big fan of cream, so I'd be happy with this. Kind of looks like even like a moussey texture. So very impressed. Looks great. Hopefully we might get to try this in real life when we go back to school because it looks so tasty. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Moving on to 1B Baker 3, rhubarb pie with St. Connors College crest on top. I mean, all true pie makers know that symbols on top of a pie is an essential craft and skill of a pie maker. And this is expertly done. Really beautiful craftsmanship. And a rhubarb pie as well. Sometimes underrated, but beautiful. I'd love to taste it. And the, the touch of those um, comments yearbooks as well. A very nice touch. Miss Speller. Great. Having seen the rhubarb myself in other photographs, it looked very tasty rhubarb. and um, Lovely good colour on the rhubarb inside. Absolutely uh, love rhubarb myself. Um, I would definitely like to try it. The artistry on it is absolutely fantastic. Like such detail. I don't know how you managed to do that, especially with the baking of it, makes it really, really difficult. And um, that it still came up even when it had to rise. Absolutely brilliant detail there. And I also really appreciate the, the Conlitz books beside it just to put the added emphasis to it. So I think this baker did absolutely fantastic to ensure that it was um, really, really good artistry in it. Miss McGuinness? Yeah, um, really well done to the baker here. Real sense of school spirit and pride coming through on their pie. Um, as Miss Beller said and Mr. Gatton said, great detail put in on the logo especially. And to see the detail after it's been cooked as well, which is great. And the booklets there is a really nice added touch to show through the history of Conlitz. And I'm sure you had some custard with it as well because you can't have rhubarb pie without custard. 100%, 100%, always good to play up to the actual school itself. Okay, moving on, 1B Baker 4, the Malteser pie. Again, this looks incredible. Um, just even the way that it's kind of, it's layered around the side, it looks so consistent. And the nice teacups in the corner there, it looks like something out of Bridgerton or some kind of Pride and Prejudice. It looks like it fit right in, very classy. Again though, Got a question, the pie, if we're talking, you know, 
actual pie here. Looks like a cake to me. Just got a question as a pie smith myself. Just got a question that. Miss Speller? Mr. Gatton is known for his uh, pies in, in the staff room now, we have to say. So he is a bit of a pie expert. So, you know, we have to take his opinion there on the pies. And um, agree. It looks really good. It looks really tasty. I like the, the base, the way you can see it on the outside, the way it comes up. And obviously the filling is in the middle. Is that what makes it a pie? I don't know. It does have a crust situation going on. Who knows? Um, but it looks really, really, really nice. Uh, love that it's Maltesers. Maltesers are one of my favourites. So I have to say this looks pretty damn tasty to me. Miss McGuinness? Um, yeah, I would want to say fair play to crushing up all those Maltesers bars because I wouldn't say that was easy. So well done there. Um, I really got some afternoon tea vibes looking at the pictures. Very well presented. And again, I'd love to try this in school if it's possible to bring in a baked version. I'd be a big fan of the Maltesers myself too. So well done here. Very good. 1C, Baker 5, the berry pie. Okay, for me, this is my star baker of the week. This is pure pie smithery right here. Cross hatch on the top, cream on the side. Look at all those berries flowing out of it. That's a pie's pie. 500 out of 100 on the yum yum scale. Pie for life. I love it. Miss Speller. Agree. It looks really good. Particular fan of berry pies. I like the, the tartness you get out of them. Like, And then the sweetness of the, the pastry at the same time. Looks really good. Again, I'll leave the cream. If you give me some ice cream, maybe. We might be talking, but again, cream, the gone, see ya. But the pie, love the artistry, having the lattice effect, really, really good. Really hard to do as well, especially when it bakes, usually it goes when you cut it and it falls apart. So excellent ability to actually make this stand up to, to cutting. So well done to that baker, really good. Well done, Miss McGuinness. Yes, brilliant job here done, especially in the crisscross pattern. Um, it looks really full as well. I like a full pie and a good variety of fruit there. It's all leaking out the side. looks great. Very tasty. Well done, Baker 5. Okay. Last but not least, 1C Baker 6 Beholder Pie, Dungeons & Dragons themed mixed berry pie. A Beholder is a Dungeons & Dragon monster for anyone who doesn't know. Um, look, got to give it to them for the creativity. I love how you have the traditional pie crust on one side and kind of, I don't know, I can't quite tell, but it looks like it's kind of um, trimmed on the, on the other side. Uh, the design on top, loads of berries, loads of color, beautiful stuff. Um, I suppose maybe well, the only criticism is when it's cut there, it does look a bit sloppy, but sometimes that's the fun part of the pie. Um, that's all I got to say on that one. Yeah, also impressed with the amount of uh, fruit. Like you can see lots of different colors of the fruit underneath the, the beholder. Um, looks really, really tasty. Love the idea of all the fruit, really tasty. Weird that 1C have both gone for mixed berry, but there you go, look. Um, again, don't know what a beholder is, but it, I'm sure that's a good representation of it. It looks, it looks good, but it looks really yum. And yeah, well done, Ms. McGuinness. Uh, yeah. Very good so far. Um, I love the fact that it's served with ice cream this time. I'm a big fan of pie and ice cream. Um, well done on your kneading process. Your pastry looks good. And again, I don't know what a dementor is, but I'm sure it's a very good representation. So overall, beholder, Miss McGinnis, not a dementor, oh. a beholder. Not Harry Potter here. Come on. Oh, I'm getting mixed God. up with Harry Potter. <laughs> Stick to the a pies. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, well, I think that's it for the semi-finals. Uh, we're going to have a look at the votes and we'll see who is the master baker.